The word of the Lord is coming from Psalm 119. We're at verse 80. Again, go back to the previous Moet Shalragas if you have not done so already. We started at verse 1. We are now at verse 80, continuing our study in Psalm 119. I'm reading from King James Version today. It says, Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. Let me know your commandments. Let me be sound in them. My dearly beloved, my dear sons and daughters, my sisters and brothers in Christ, the psalmist here is asking the Father, may his heart be sound, his mind be sound in the principles, the precepts, the things of the Lord. Why? So that he won't be ashamed. The word of God says that we should study to show ourselves approved, a workman unto God that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. And we ought to always have an answer for those that inquire about the hope that lies within us. So here he's asking, Lord, let my heart be sound. Let me be sound in your, your precepts. Let me be sound in the things that you want, the, your principles, your rules, your commandments. Let me be sound in that. Let me be solid. Let me understand. Let me walk in them. Let me live them. Let me understand them so that I won't be ashamed that your prayer today? Do you want your heart to be sound? Because you know, the word of God also says that in the latter days, men will not love sound doctrine, but they'll be lovers of their own selves and itching ears. They want what they want to hear. But beloveds, my desire is that my heart may be sound in the statutes of my God, in his laws, in his precepts, in his commandments, in his word. I want to be sound. I want my heart to be sound in the things of God. So let's pray and ask God to allow his Holy Spirit to teach us, lead us, guide us. For the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Father, Father, we come in, entering into your presence with thanksgiving, entering into your courts with praise, thanking you for who you are, blessing you for being our Father. Daddy, we love you. We bless you. We repent of our sins. We ask that you will forgive us of all unrighteousness, God. Forgive us, God. Purge us with hyssop. Wash us in your blood. From the sole of our feet to the crown of our heads. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us. Teach us. For we want to know the statutes of our God. Let our hearts be sound in the word of God. Father, we're praying for the body of Christ, for the sons of God, that our hearts will be sound in your statutes, in your commandments, in your principles, in your laws. May we be sound 
in the word of God that we will not be ashamed and we will not put you to shame but we will make you proud Father we crown you as Lord of Lords, King of Kings and King of our lives Lord over our lives and because you are our Lord we are the kingdom of God righteousness peace, joy healing, wholeness soundness salvation, freedom liberty is all in your kingdom so we thank you help us to bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go pushing back the darkness because you are the light shining brightly in us you are a refining fire purify us burn us till you see your reflection we desire to be the ambassadors that you're calling us to be father we understand that the fields are ripe the harvest is, the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few father anoint us that we will represent you and that you will reap a harvest that the kingdom of heaven will expand and multiply we pray for the backsliders we pray for the sinners that don't know you we pray that they all come to the knowledge of Christ and the backsliders will return to you Father we know that you'll soon just come so help us to work while it's day for when night comes, we understand no man can work. Father, sharpen our spiritual discernment that we will not be deceived by the enemy. But we know that there will be a great falling away. But Lord God, hide us. As we abide in you and your words abide in us, we know we can ask what we will and it shall be given unto us. It shall be done. Heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot, not one tittle of your word. And we are so honored to be yours, to be your children, your sons. Daddy, we love you. We bless you. Our desire is that you would get the glory out of our lives. We bless your wonderful, matchless, holy, powerful name. With thanksgiving, we ask this in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Well, beloved, this has been Moed Sharaka, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord.